Good morning, everyone. My name is Rachel Reynolds, and I work for Healthy Communities of the Capital Area. Um, I work for their main SNAP Ed program, and I am feeling fall in the air really badly, um, even though it's just the end of August. So I thought I would come to you today to make um, one of our recipes, and it is for pumpkin pancakes. So what you're gonna need is um, a can of pumpkin, and you're gonna wanna get just pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie mix. Uh, because when you get the, the pumpkin pie filling, um, it has a lot of extra ingredients in it, and this just has pumpkin in it. Um, if you're not able to find or you don't have just regular pumpkin on hand, um, you could use the pumpkin pie uh, mix, but it does already have the sugar and spices and things like that in it, so you would need to adjust the recipe to eliminate um, some of the additional sugar and spices. Okay, so I've got semi set up here and I've just kind of started uh, with my ingredients. So I have, um, and I'm actually doubling the recipe because I love these so much. Um, so I have two cups of whole wheat flour um, and I'm gonna add in two cups of uh, regular to that. I'm using a really big bowl to accommodate for everything. So there is my flour already in the bowl. Okay, and then I'm gonna add uh, the rest of the dry ingredients. So I've measured out uh, my brown sugar, my baking powder, and my pumpkin uh, pie spice mix. If you don't have any of this on hand, you can just kind of mix up your own spices using uh, what you do have on hand. So you're gonna wanna look for warm spices, things like cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, clove, things like that, that'll give you that kind of warming um, effect. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in with my flour. And you're gonna wanna mix this all together really well. And the main reason is, is you wanna make sure that you get the um, baking powder kinda all blended through so that when you're cooking your pancakes, you don't um, wind up with like lumps of the baking powder, which would taste really bitter. Uh, when you go to eat. Got a little messy. Let's get that off of there because it is warming up. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So in another bowl, um, I've already got my pumpkin and the recipe calls for just a half a cup, but because I'm doubling it, I have a cup in here. And then I'm gonna add in my eggs. And then I'm gonna add in my milk. I'm gonna whisk that up so I break up the eggs and get everything incorporated. And I also have um, a couple of tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil in there as well. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And then, 
you want to add your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. Yeah, if you have someone in your family that has issues with, um, you know, regular cow's milk, so like a lactose sensitivity or an intolerance, you can use um, like a unsweetened, um, like oat milk to do this or rice milk. Okay, so you want to mix it enough to try. Um, you know, to get it so that it's not um, super lumpy. Get everything incorporated into it. I actually need to grab some more milk because I realized that I didn't use double on the milk. up a bit. So one thing about this recipe is that um, you don't actually wind up using the whole can of pumpkin and I really don't like to waste food so I try to come up with different ways to, to use ingredients um, and I found that pumpkin where it's a lot like squash um, really lends itself well in things like soups. Um, so I usually use the rest of the pumpkin that I have um, as um, part of like the broth for our, for our soup. You know, so I would just mix it in with um, you know some chicken stock or vegetable stock and then make my soup from there. Okay, that is looking pretty good. It does still have some lumps and that's okay. You don't wanna try to mix it so long that there aren't any at all, um, but you do wanna try to break it, break it up as much as you can. Okay. So I've got my skillet um, heating up and it's on a, like a medium heat. If you don't have um, a big skillet like this, you can just do it on the the cook pot in a, in a regular, you know, like non-stick frying pan, and that's okay. I just like this one because I can make more of them um, one time. Okay. So I'm gonna just give it a quick spray. Then I'm actually going to use a measuring cup to try to make sure that I get even hand heat. These don't take very long to cook at all. And what you want to look for when you're cooking them is you want to see that it's getting kind of bubbly and a little bit dry on the edge before you flip it. Okay. Get my spatula. I'll just give those a minute to cook. So one of the reasons I like to make a double batch of these is oftentimes I'm in a little bit of a hurry um, in the morning time, not so much right now, but um, 
these actually freeze really well. So what I would do is um, when they're done and they're cooled off, um, I would just stack them up with um, a little bit of parchment paper in between each one so that they don't stick together. And then I would put them in um, a zip bag I, and make sure that I label it so I know uh, what it is and when I made it uh, so that it doesn't sit in there forever. Um, and then just pop them in the freezer and when I want some, um, the parchment paper or wax paper makes it easier to take them out without them sticking together and then I can just heat them up and have a nice quick uh, delicious breakfast. So my first one that I put down is starting to look pretty good. Perfect. So I'll just give those a little bit of time on the other side so that they can finish cooking through. You don't want raw pancakes in the middle. So the really neat thing about these too is that when you're thinking about um, nutrition and you're thinking about my plate, it really covers a lot of territory. You have the whole grain from the whole wheat flour that you've put in there. You have um, the fruit from the pumpkin. Uh, you have protein from the eggs. You have dairy from the milk that was added. So you get a lot of mileage on this one uh, recipe. And also I like to um, usually top them with like a little uh, applesauce or cut up fruit, that sort of thing, uh, rather than like a syrup, uh, you know, topping, uh, just to cut out some more of that uh, added sugar that we tend to uh, wind up eating. All right, so these look like they're done. So I'm just going to put them on my plate to cool and then I'll keep going along uh, making the rest of them until the batter is all gone um, and when that's done I'll have the last uh, few of them for my breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're looking for more um, different and healthy recipes for yourself or your family that are easy to do, uh, please go to meansnapped.org and there is a recipe library in there with lots of different ideas. Uh, the great thing about our recipes is that they don't require um, any fancy ingredients or fancy cooking equipment um, and they are healthy for you but also really delicious. So I hope you enjoyed and you have a great day. Thank you for watching.